morning everybody, I want to show you my, my new old guitar. It is a Gibson S1. When I bought it, the electronics were all working. Um, I have to clean it up a bit and had some work on the on the lacquer. Oh, when I uh, when I opened up the guitar and took a look at the parts, the parts were actually dated. Uh, I think somewhere in 1977. So that will probably make the uh, the body a 77 as well. Or. Uh, it is actually. Uh, it could also be from March '78. Uh, that's what the uh, serial number said. And they changed to the different pickguard and um, switches in July '78. So I don't know. It could be a '78 or it could be uh, a mix and match from '77 and '78 parts. Probably came out of the factory like this. I don't think anybody. Uh, Anybody mixed and matched them uh, themselves. Well, because of the maple body, it's a pretty bright sounding uh, guitar. And loud, by the way. And I don't know, maybe it's because it was designed in the 70s, it got as a sort of a funk, you know, a funk twist uh, to it. Um, but it's a, it's a great design. These uh, single coil pickups, I think they're actually more P90 like than uh, than regular uh, single coils. And I don't know, Bill Lawrence uh, did an excellent job designing uh, this guitar. It sounds uh, it sounds great. I'll um, hook it up later on and do um, do a proper demo of the sound. So what else is there to say? It's um, it's a Les Paul Junior body. That's the, um, the that will be the flat ones. It has a flying V headstock, and it's um, I don't know. It's a great looking guitar. I never saw a maple um, maple body like this, even on an S1. And I gave it like four coats of wax yesterday, and uh, the grain really came out. You don't want to wax it too uh, too much; it'll start to look like a coffee table. But I think this worked worked out really nicely. So here it is, the S1.